Hi Jacqueline, this is Coach Snow from Sharper Aquatic Image. I want to talk to you a few minutes about your strokes that we filmed earlier this week at the 2019 Etobicoke Swim Club Summer Camp. Each of the videos you're going to see this, uh, this, these few minutes are going to be in slow motion to give us a chance to look at your strokes easily, right? On your breakout, let's see if we can get our elbows together, squeezing the back of your head as opposed to the side of your head. We have to be as streamlined as we can off the wall. Now one of the things I want you to think about is your kick. You've got two kicks happening at the front of the stroke and really no kick at the back of the stroke. There has to be a kick at the front and a kick at the back. And always remember when you're kicking, let's keep our feet together. Right, our feet are, se are separating a little bit. Let's see if we can keep our feet together. Maybe not raise our heels quite so high. You see at the end of your kick, we're letting our hips drop right now. Let's see if we can keep our hips high. And then when they drop down, get ready for the next phase of that kick to get the hips back up again. It's a flowing stroke. It's not a, it's a powerful stroke, but it's a flowing stroke. You can't have any downward draft on your stroke. All right. We're going to move over now to your backstroke. One of the things I want you to think about is a fingertip entry, um, hands straight above your shoulder. You see how your hands kind of bent in, your hands pointing above your head? we got to sort of catch the water a little bit. Imagine throwing a baseball. Let's get our fingers together and let's lead with the hand. You're kind of leading with the elbow a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little better catch. Um, and when at the back of the stroke, you see how the hand's stopping? Watch this left hand. It's going to finish. You know, turn over, come back down, and then come out. Let's see if we can turn that hand over and get that hand out of there right away. Right? It helps having what we call a circular backstroke where the arms are continually moving. Uh, your hand's getting stuck a little bit at the back of the stroke. And one last thing, let's get our hips up a little bit. Right? Breast stroke, same idea as your fly. Let's get our elbows together. Now we're driving back a little bit far with our elbows. Let's see if we can rotate those elbows underneath the shoulders. And we're gonna to try to work on getting a little more distance on the kick. You're finishing your kick down a little bit deep. Let's see if we can kick the water back and then get the heels up. When you extend those feet, then you're gonna have a chance to get your hips up a little higher. Right now your hips are sitting a little bit low in the water. Let's see if we can get a little more distance on the kick. They say that 60% of the power in breaststroke comes from the kick. And you're not getting a lot of distance on your kick. You're getting about a foot and a half per kick. Let's see if we can get a little more distance on each kick. All right? And once again, get your fingers together. Let's work on patience, top of the stroke, and catch over top of the wrist. Let's not let the hand get outside the wrist when we do that pull. And here's your freestyle. All right? See the little flay, flay in the front of the stroke? It's kind of pitching out and coming in. We gotta sort of turn that hand in a little sooner. Get on top of those elbows a little sooner. We're kind of flaring out and then pitching down, particularly on the left hand. Let's not let that elbow drop. You can see how your elbow's dropping a little bit at the top end? Let's get on top of those elbows and let's work on a little more strength on the back of the stroke. We need to have the hand underneath the body, snap in the back end, and let's also, one last thing, let's see if we can narrow up that kick. It's a little bit wide and you're sweeping back and forth a little bit. It's a powerful kick. It's got to travel really fast for you. All right, Jacqueline, I hope you enjoyed the comments that I made today. Hopefully they'll help you and look forward to seeing some good times from you this year. All the best. This is Coach Snow. Thank you.